Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll go through the medium range models, have a look at the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF and then we'll finally have a look at the GFS ensembles and finish up with the UK Met Office run as well. Now we've got some quite warm weather over the next day or so. A lot of rain around though in the north and west as a result of this low pressure wafting up this warm moist air from the south. But by the end of this week, it's going to be really quite chilly. We could be seeing some quite widespread frosts overnight into Friday, into Saturday as well. Um, and we could even be seeing our first snowfall or first real snowfall, let's just say, over the Scottish mountains as well. We'll also have a sneak peek, having a look at what we could be seeing for Halloween. As very interestingly, later to your fest, it's going very cold for Halloween, so we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you have a look at the live radar at the moment, you can see we have the initial weather front starting to push in as a result of this low pressure out in the Atlantic. You can see sort of heavy rain pushing in from the west. Now across Scotland, many northern areas has cleared eastwards. However, we still have some lingering rain across the south, parts of the Midlands into parts of northeastern areas and East Anglia. Now there are heavier patches within this rain, but there's also lighter and it is pretty patchy. Like it's not a massive wall of rain that we have seen before with well-organized weather fronts. So if you are in this uh, sort of eastern quadrant um, on the south coast as well, it's going to be raining maybe on and off, or if you are unlucky and you do see sort of um, this, this rain sort of band together, it could be pretty consistent throughout the course of this evening um, into overnight, but it should slowly clear overnight tonight into tomorrow. There's a few showers across Scotland, but again, generally things are clearing, and across Ireland and Wales, it is generally dry as well, but there is more rain to come over the coming days. So if we do have a look at the GFS, you can see the big low out in the Atlantic at the moment. We're wafting up quite warm southwesterly winds. You can see the upper air temperatures getting above 10 degrees at 850 HPA. And it's going to be getting a little bit higher than that towards tomorrow. We could even be seeing maybe 20 degrees tomorrow. Now it is going to be cloudy and there's going to be rain around for many. So it's not going to feel warm everywhere. A lot of areas, even though it might be quite humid and maybe be 16, 17 degrees, it will feel a little chilly if we have the rain and the cloud. However, if we do see a bit of sunshine, a break, in the clouds, some rain subsiding. That's where we could see some decent temperatures. It does look like it's going to be about 10 plus degrees cooler than that within a few days. So we do run through. You can see the warm air moving up at the moment. But as that cold, as that sorry, the low pressure moves away, you can see cold air coming in behind its back edge. Minus five line spreads through whole of Scotland into parts of northern England, maybe touching Northern Ireland as well. And the zero degree ice firm moves through the whole of the British Isles. So chilly air mass moving through. We do see a ridge of high pressure pushing in through Friday with still a cold air mass over the top. That's when we could be seeing some pretty chilly temperatures into early Saturday. We do see a push of weather fronts come back in as more low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. So it was a little bit milder towards Sunday with probably some more rain around. And then we sort of do fluctuate between warmer, cooler sectors and a lot of lows moving through. Now it is generally a westerly pattern, so it's not entirely cold. Um, through next week but it is not looking particularly great either with a lot of rain around now interestingly we have to watch this low pressure that's developing out in the atlantic very similar to what we're seeing at the moment with quite a warm sector of air moving up by next saturday now this is in the longer term it's beyond day 10 so there's a lot of uncertainty with this it may not play like uh, play like this at all but having a look at the last few runs and the ensembles it does look like we're going to be seeing low pressure like this but the air mass is what's going to be the thing that could change you can see though as we head through to halloween by the evening we're in a direct northerly wind pretty chilly air coming in through scotland can't rule out potentially some snow showers pushing through across scottish mountains and really chilly air pushing through by um sort of first of november minus five line getting through pretty much the whole of the eastern side of the uk because of course this is a good week or two up beyond what we are now there is cold or more or there is more cold air over the north pole so it means whenever we do get a cold plunge like this it's going to be colder and it's going to be more widespread that does eventually push through when we do see westerly winds return so it is a very brief northerly wind but potentially quite chilly around halloween and to the first and second of november so we have to keep an eye on that um in the longer term so we do have a look at the gm see how that does compare again southwesterly winds at the moment and then we pull in that direct northerly 
by the end of the week. Some pretty chilly air moves through, potentially for a few snow showers. And then by the week, by Sunday, Monday, warmer sector comes through, then another cold sector, not that chilly, but a colder sector nonetheless. And by day 10, you can just generally see fluctuating between warm and cold sectors. A bit of an amplified jet stream, you can see it dipping down towards northeast Canada, then a bit of a ridge pushing up towards Iceland. And that's mean we're going to be seeing a lot more of these colder, warmer sectors. And the potential is there for colder air to move in for Halloween. But it is beyond day 10, so the GM doesn't quite get out there. Um, and it's a good few days until it will. Um, and there's a lot of uncertainty around this stage. So we have to take everything with a pinch of salt. But the general pattern at this stage definitely does look like amplified jet stream and um, very unsettled as well. So... It always does leave um, a decent chance we do see a cold north or northwesterly wind in control. So if you do have a look at the eastern DF now, you can see, again, southwesterly winds at the moment, and then that direct northerly by Thursday with some very chilly air coming through. If we do have a look at the temperature deviation, you can see a good 4, 6, maybe 8 degrees below average in a few spots at 850 HPA. So that's pretty chilly um, with that air mass spraying through. Warmer sector for Sunday. And then generally flip-flopping between colder and warmer sectors. And by day 10, Thursday the 28th of October, similar to the GEM with a northwesterly wind, a colder air mass pushing in, but not that chilly, of course, as it is coming across quite a long ocean track, which does warm up a little bit at the surface. So, yeah, very similar to the GEM with this amplified jet stream unsettled um, with a lot of rain, um, but also a little bit chilly as well. So we do now have a look at the GFS ensembles. We'll first start off with London. You can see at the moment quite a few rainfall spikes over the next few days as we see these batches of rain moving from this low pressure. We've got a massive cold front moving through over the course of the next few days. Temperatures are going to peak at 850 HPA over the next 12 to 24 hours. Um, most likely tomorrow where we could see some decent temperatures. Then by Wednesday all the way to Friday, we could be seeing a drop of around 15 degrees at 850 HPA. From around 12 or 13 degrees all the way down to sort of minus 4, maybe minus 5. So maybe even more than 15 degrees. So really, really quite chilly. Um, and this big drop could be accompanied by a lot of rain. And you can see we go from 5, 6 degrees above average to 5, 6, 7, 8 plus degrees below average. Now beyond that, we do rise up to around average. So it's very briefly, maybe a couple of days, we are quite far below average. And then we generally stay around average, maybe a touch above um towards sort of the day 10 time frame of course we've got westerly winds so it all depends on the warmer colder sector and how they do fit in and then towards halloween the end of the month and start of november there is a lot of uncertainty you can see the operational run has a few runs going with it with some very chilly air moving in but similarly there's others that are getting up to around 10 degrees age with phpa so it is very uncertain we can't really say anything too, too definitive at this stage but it does look unsettled and there is the potential for it being chilly as well if we have a look at the sea level pressure which does show us that's quite well you can see um low pressure pushing in over the next couple of days then high pressure pushing in um sort of in about four days time uh, eventually as that low moves through and then um a little bit more low pressure comes and it's sort of a weak low pressure pressure signal for the foreseeable future for it does dip again around halloween to the start of november where we could be seeing something a little bit more unsettled uh, more widely again it is going to be the theme where it's going to be more unsettled in the north than in the south just simply because of where the jet stream does look like it's going to be setting up you guys you saw where those um operational charts always got higher pressure closer to the south now it, or of course we will see rain in the south but maybe just not quite as unsettled further as it will be further northwards. If you have a look at Glasgow, you can see that well reflected at the moment. Pretty low uh, pressure coming through, maybe 985 millibars, then going up to around 1,020. So a weak high pressure before returning back to a weak uh, low pressure. But there is a lot of scatter, so it's all going to depend on time frame. In the longer term, still stays quite unsettled, dropping down to a thousand millibars, and there's even some quite deep lows moving through, maybe even some stormy conditions. But it again, it is um, just a few of the runs. It is a minority, and at this stage, um, there's just really a lot of uncertainty. If we have a look at the 850 HPA temperature and precipitation, you can see very similar to London in terms of the temperature profile. Pretty warm now, dropping down to minus five, maybe even below that over the next few days and rising to around average and sticking around or maybe a touch above or below at times um for the foreseeable future a lot of precipitate 
precipitation spikes a lot more than in London. Of course, that is because we're close to lows uh, in the north and more likely to be seeing these um, very unsettled conditions. And the weather fronts, the heavy rain and the sh uh, heavy showers that are around as well. So it is looking like it's going to be really quite unsettled in the longer term. Won't be raining all the time, of course, like it does kind of seem on this ensemble chart. But that's simply because of the time frame, how at this stage the ensembles don't quite align in terms of arrival times of lows so they're all showing precipitation spike for the same low at slightly different time intervals so it does spread out and make it seem like a massive sort of week-long rain event when actually these will as they come to the shorter time frame they will reduce in their uncertainty and we will see the sort of definitive times weather fronts to move through so we do finally finish up having a look at the uk met office run have a look at precipitation and temperature you can see at the moment we've got the rain moving through and it should clear the east this evening but you can see the latest UK Met Office run has underdone the amount of rain we have across central England um, as I'm recording this around four o'clock so uh, I do expect it to go on a little bit longer than this is showing but it should eventually clear by the early hours before more rain is spreading in from the west especially for Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and the far southwest and that should spread eastwards throughout the day um, by sort of tomorrow evening, we're seeing the weather front clear most areas um, and maybe some really quite heavy rain in the southeast along the back edge of the weather front. And again, more periods of rain through Wednesday and Thursday before we eventually see northerly wind start to push in. And you can see by early as of, as of Thursday, a little bit of white coming up on the precipitation charts, and that is snow showing up over the highest points in Scotland. We're going to see that again across central Scotland for the early hours of Thursday, potential for snow showers. Elsewhere, though, it will predominantly be rain and just a little bit chilly. And you can see, again, in some of these showers, a few snow um, sort of signals are cropping up. And as we head through to Friday, eventually things do turn a little bit drier towards the evening as high pressure starts to move over. If we have a look at the two meter temperatures, it does go really quite chilly um, towards the end of this week. You can see tomorrow, or uh, well, today, we saw temperatures around 14, 15 degrees, maybe a bit warmer further westwards where... Um, we've had a little bit more sunshine this afternoon. Tomorrow is where temperatures could peak, potentially 18, 19, maybe 20 degrees in the south, across the Midlands, maybe into East Anglia as well, where we do avoid the rain. Now you can see by early hours of Wednesday, the cold front that is sort of lingering to our north, you can see it there quite definitively, a good three, four, five degree drop in temperatures as it approaches Scotland across Wednesday evening. As it spread through, temperatures will drop below freezing for Thursday morning across many parts of Scotland, low to mid single digits across Northern Ireland, Northern England, parts of Wales as well. Thursday's going to be a pretty chilly day, especially in the north, maybe not getting above freezing in a few spots across Scottish mountains, but generally many areas in Scotland are saying mid single digits, maybe getting up to maybe 7 or 8 degrees. Across Northern England, a similar story again, 7, 8, 9 degrees, and then across parts of England, just further southwards, maybe 11, 12, we're holding on to a little bit of warmer air. By the early hours of Friday, you can see widely uh, all areas are down to the single digits, getting down to maybe 4 or 5 degrees, feeling really quite cold in a few spots, and some areas potentially getting to freezing and Friday afternoon, it's looking chilly once again, 11, 12 degrees across the south, but feeling a little bit colder under that um, chilly northerly wind. And across Scotland, again, struggling to single digits. Really cold temperatures could come Saturday night uh, or Friday night into Saturday. You can see across many areas in the north as we hold on to that colder air, as warmer moisture air arrives from the southwest widespread frost across scotland northeast england even getting into parts maybe the midlands north uh, and generally northwestern england as well and you can see those blues showing freezing or below temperature so looking really quite chilly for early hours of saturday especially if you are in the north and the east so a very mixed sort of pattern coming up over the next week a few weeks which is kind of expected for october quite warm and settled over the next couple of days and then by the end of this week going really quite chilly um, and cold maybe first um, we might say our first images of snow of real snow over Scottish mountains and then it does look like it's going to be going unsettled um, for the start of next week so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again for another video soon